Hey guys, Justin with Aqua Electric, and today I'm here with Eric Pinzon, Electrified Marina, and we are doing the ultimate electric boat test. Today we're gonna take out the Flux Powered Scout and an Xshore One. Today's test features the fully electric Scout 215 Dorado powered by Flux Marine versus the fully electric Xshore One. We're gonna be pitting these boats against each other in a real world test involving several drag races, running at cruising speed to downtown Norfolk, and some more high speed running at the end. We're pitting the Flux Powered Scout 215 Dorado, which has a 75 kilowatt motor and an 84 kilowatt hour battery pack against the Xshore One, which features a 125 kilowatt motor and a 63 kilowatt hour battery. In this test, the Scout is actually charged up to 90% which means it contains around 75 kilowatt hours of energy. We're gonna conduct a 16 mile round trip and see which one is the fastest, which one had the most battery left at the end, and most of all, we're gonna see if these boats have what it takes to have a fun day in the water with your family and friends, using them as you would in the real world. All right, predictions, what do you think is gonna be uh, come out on top here? Uh, honestly, you know, it's kind of a mix. Uh, I, I think the extra one's probably gonna beat a little bit in the whole shot, you know, this thing handles really well. Uh, obviously, the, the Scout's got a little bit more battery, so that's going to do a little bit better in that regards, but uh, it's only 16 miles, so I think they're both going to perform really well. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. I mean, uh, I've heard about the extra performance, but with that extra battery, extra kilowatt hours, I think we might just be able to eke out a bit more range. Yeah. Uh, so let's see what happens. Yeah. We got the boats underway and headed out to the bay to line them up for the first race. It's also important to note that the X-Shore had one extra person on board, but it has a smaller battery, so it has less weight overall. Here we go for round one. The X-Shore gets away about a half a second earlier, and the results are pretty predictable. They both seem to have the same top speed though, with neither boat pulling away from the other. This time for round two, both boats get away at the same time, and it's pretty clear to see that Xshore has the advantage in acceleration. However, both boats reach the same top speed, and once again, neither boat really pulls away from the other. We line them up for one more round, and the results are pretty much the same. Now it's time to bring the speed down to about 22 miles per hour and try to find the most efficient planing speed and cruise to downtown north. All right guys, so we just completed the, uh, the whole shot test. We did about three of them. Uh, we are at 77% battery now and we are gonna now do our range test. So I'm just gonna bring it up as smoothly as possible up to plane. on clean. I'm going to start messing with, uh, I'm going to make sure my trim tabs are all the way up and I'm going to trim the motor all the way down and I'm going to just start tapping on the trim button here, the motor trim, to see if we can just play with it and start getting uh, the least amount of kilowatts used per mile. So right now we're at 3.1, 3 kilowatts a mile. And that's pretty good. So we're doing 20 miles an hour using three kilowatts per mile. The Exshore crew did the same, and we ended up with a similar cruising speed as we paced them all the way to downtown Norfolk. So we just, uh, we're almost downtown Norfolk here, and we are at 68% battery. Uh, and I think that's pretty good. It, it's not too bad, I mean, for, for how much power we have or how much energy we have on board. Uh, we did a bunch of full throttle, drag races, uh, three of them actually to get the, the shots in. And then we just kind of cruised at a pretty good clip, 24 one miles per hour. And you now we still got plenty of battery left. All right, so we, uh, we ran out of room to cruise because we hit a no wake zone. So we're turning around and we're gonna get some more high speed runs in. Both boats turned around and started heading back to the bay. And we actually ended up passing the entrance to the bay because both boats had some extra energy that we wanted to burn off. <laughs> the 
besides that, it was just a lot of fun ripping around some high performance cars. Once we got back inside the bay, it was just full throttle all over. We did a bunch of high speed stuff. Uh, we did some fishing cruising. And then right at the end, I mean, we pretty much spent the last uh, like 15 minutes at full throttle. Uh, still 28% battery. I'd say that's really good. All right, so we're back from our ultimate range test. And uh, we had some, I think, pretty interesting results. And I'm not sure that there's really a clear winner here. Um, I mean, first of all, the, the speed, I think obviously the X Shore. Uh, seems to have a lot more power, a lot more hole shot, got ahead of the scout. Um, what did it look like from your perspective? Yeah, I could tell your guys' torque curve wasn't as aggressive, but it was probably a little bit more efficient as you guys were going out there. You know, not everyone needs to go zero to 20 knots instantly. Obviously, it's a lot of fun, uh, but no, you guys came back with a lot more range as expected. 20% uh, more, or I mean, if you do the math, how many kilowatt hours is that? Yeah, I think we, we found that uh, we started off with 75 kilowatt hours and we have, uh, was it 20 kilowatt hours left? Yeah, not uh, bad. Yeah, not really not bad at all actually, um, especially in the amount of driving we were doing. Uh, we went out, we did a lot of high speed runs, uh, some efficient cruising, and then the last, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, it was full throttle. Yeah, we were, we were doing 30, 30 knots the entire time. It was pretty great. It was a lot of fun. The Flux ended the day with 28% battery or 23 kilowatt hours left, and the Xshore ended up with 8% or 5 kilowatt hours left. It ended up being an 18 mile round trip with the Scout using 52 kilowatt hours over that distance for an average of 2.8 kilowatt hours per mile. The Xshore used 58 kilowatt hours for an average of 3.2 kilowatt hours per mile. And given that this is a real world test with a lot of variables and an extra person thrown in, I'd say that's pretty even, at least in terms of efficiency. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Electric Boat Dude here from Electrified Marina and Justin from Aqua Electric. Uh, biggest struggle right now with electric boats is awareness and education. So if you can, you know anybody interested, send them to the channel, send them our way. If you got questions, don't hesitate to ask. We're here to help spread some information. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, just big thanks to you guys from Electrified Marina for lending us your boats. We had, had a blast out there today and uh, let's, let's do this again. Yeah, absolutely. For more information on the Scout of the X-Shore or to find out how to purchase one, contact the guys from Electrified Marina. Links in the description.